to the introduction of our new Annex Cam feature-based manufacturing starter kit. My name is Uwe Edlinger. I'm working inside the manufacturing business group of Siemens Industry Software. Annex Cam feature-based manufacturing or FBM is a powerful engine to allow process automation, process quality enhancement, as well as process standardization. We have many customers who successfully implement this approach and report programming time saving by up to 91%. As mentioned, we do have many customers already using this powerful engine, but new customers report the complexity of implementation. These customers like to get a more easy way to implement this automation. The FBM starter kit will give customers an easy entry into feature-based manufacturing. There is no machining knowledge training required to start the implementation. At the beginning, the only prerequisite is NXCAM programming knowledge. The kit will come with predefined example rules for mold and die as well as for prismatic parts machining. Machining rules are defined by using teach parts which allow easy access and change of these rules directly inside NXCAM. NXCAM will automatically save these rules inside the machining knowledge file. The FBM starter kit will come with one standard tool library including proven feeds and speeds. The starter kit is not an out-of-the-box solution for customers. As we understand, customers will have their own cutting tools, part materials and machining techniques. The FBM starter kit will give them an easy way to understand how to set up and configure their customized environment without any additional training. We recommend a one to two hour introduction to get started. The FBM starter kit will come with two example parts. Both parts are, are fully scripted um, so that you can get an idea how it is working at uh, successfully implementation. It's a step-by-step -step script, so you can follow um, the script for a mold and die and for a prismatic, as you can see here on the top. This is a, a picture of the mold and die example. It's an ejector plate, and on the bottom you see a, a prismatic part example, um, which shows some, some holes and, and pockets, and including PMI. Uh, machining. As mentioned, these both are fully scripted, um, so you get an idea um, of the of successfully feature-based implementation. Now, let's see how easy it is to program your part if feature-based machining is implemented. This will show the high value of feature-based machining. Keep in mind, this is all done by using the new operation set teaching functionality inside NXCAM. The demo part, by the way, are also included in the FBM starter kit. I will demo the prismatic part example. First, you open your CAD part. Then, you select the correct NX CAM setup to apply it to your CAD part. This NX CAM setup can also include fixtures, machine tools, or cutter information. In my example, the fixtures are all already uh, designed inside the CAD part. So this is finally depending on your uh, uh, customer or, or on your, your, your internal process. After the setup is applied, we assign part, blank and fixtures into the CAM object. This process can also be automated by NX CAM channeling functionality. An important note on the CAD part you select. It is not required to use a part inside NXCAD or to design the part inside NXCAD as already mentioned. NXCAM feature recognition supports also solids and surfaces imported into NXCAM by a translator. Inside the workpiece, we also have to select the correct part material as this is required to automate or to automate it, assign the correct feeds and speeds into the operations. After this is done, we will change to the feature navigator and recognize all machining features. 
NXCAM will recognize all standard features, including tolerance and threat information. As mentioned, it is not required to define the tolerance information inside NXCAT, as some translators also support the translation of PMI, which means you get tolerances and surface information, as well as threat information. The FBM automation will then or can take care on this information. By the way, the standard features can also enhance by customer specific feature types. Here you can see all NXCAM uh, features which are recognized on the machining direction. As a next step, we need to apply the correct machining process. As NXCAM is a very flexible tool, you can have different process or you can, you can teach different processes for the same feature. This finally is, is customer specific. In the simplest case, you only need to select one process or the process is already selected and you need to hit to select OK or hit OK. NXCAM will automate, uh, select the correct cutting tools and create the optimized machining sequence for each feature. As you can see, also the feeds and speeds are, are created by default based on the material and based on the select automated selected tool. So the last step is to generate the tool path. After this, you can send the NC code to the machine tool. So now you see the tool path is generated and the NC code is created for all operation. So finally, there is no need to do any manual programming on such kind of path. For sure, you can mix this up you can, you are NXCAM allowed to delete then some operation and do the manu manually programming if this is required. Now let's see how easy it is to apply changes um, to existing machining sequence. As an example, I will select a different tool here for this uh, finish operation on the pocket. You know, you see three operations and each of these operation will have the same tool. So it's all under underscore zero uh, one two. Now, to to assign a different tool, um, I, you here you see the, the tool which is assigned is a sixteen millimeter tool. Now to change this, I simply need to go and open um, the tab with the uh, with the teach features part with the teach part, and on the teach part. I just need to select the correct uh, feature, which is uh, in this case, the lower left, which is the pocket uh, machining. And if I open the pocket machining, I see the three operation which are created and you can see they are all using the same tool. And now I use the operation set teaching and assign for the second operation, uh, just a different tool. To make it easier, I, I, I simply assign uh, a tool with a diameter uh, smaller or equal 12 millimeters. So I select the end mill and I define the rule. The diameter of the end mill should be uh, smaller or equal 12 millimeter. At teach the rule and hit OK. That's it. Now, if I go back to my um, other part, which are already programmed, I delete the process which is already applied. Then I just select, need to I just select the, the features and apply or reapply the process again. And after this is done, you will see that the the new feature also has this reoperation, but the second operation has in this case uh, a different tool, which is in this case a 12 millimeter uh, tool. So with this, you see how easy and quickly you can change and edit rules uh, for, for machining or update your rule. The kit will come with predefined teach parts for prismatic machining as well as for mold and dye um, machining. Each of these teach part has uh, unique features and each of these unique features are 
accessible by this teach part, as you can see here on the right. Um, to make it easier to, to understand what the rules behind this part, we um, supply an Excel table with um, the details of the teach part. So that means, you see here, for example, if you look for the teach part's red hole, you see the teach part, you see when the hole is threaded, what the conditions are, in this case between M4 and M16, and what operations are created by using this uh, teach part, and what are the conditions to create the operation, mostly which tool should be um, selected. So this is available for each teach part with all of the details. We recommend for customers using the same method, use this Excel sheet, create um, the teach part for their, for their features and create the rules and conditions in an Excel sheet to get an overview um, about the rules and when operations are created and, for, and also which operations are created. And then later on just copy and paste this information into NXCAM. This makes everything much more easy and it's much more visible. The same as mentioned we have for the mold and die environment. That means we have two uh, ejector blade parts and we have the ejector pin types um, as teach parts available as well. Also here you find an, um, an Excel uh, sheet with all of the rules for the injector um, pin. The FBM starter kit also contain an out-of-the-box tool library with uh, 29 milling tools, all retrieved from the Sandvik catalog, and as well 185 uh, drilling tools. Also the drilling tools are retrieved from the Sandvik catalog. Here's a detailed explanation which uh, tools are, are available uh, in, the, in the tool library. For example, twist drill range 3 to 20, index drill 15 to 60, and so on and so on. Also, this includes the feeds and speeds calculation. The kit will come not only with the tool, we also have two real part material and we have two, uh, four cutting methods. All of these combinations are supported by the machining data library. So for all of these combinations, we, we, we have feeds and speeds available. And this is the reason by, um, using the machine, uh, by using the FBM starter kit, the machine data library is activated. So the uh, feeds and speeds are calculated automatically if the operation is are created. At the end, just as a, as, a, as a summary, many, many people understand um, how machining knowledge is working and how to edit this in, with the machining knowledge editor. So this is our classic approach. Right now, all feature-based implementation we, we have are based on the machining knowledge editor. But as mentioned before, for new customers, this is very complex. They don't understand uh, at the beginning how, how this can be implemented. It takes a long uh, a training. For this, we introduced the NXCAM teach operation sets. Um, I think it was NX uh, 10 something, definitely NX 11, but we are missed the best practice um, on this and how this should be implemented. And exactly this is the feature-based manufacturing starter kit. It gives you, it gives customer an easy entry, in, entry into feature-based manufacturing by using the NXCAM operation set teaching. At the end of the webinar, I want to give you some information about how to install the, the starter kit and um, what's inside the starter kit where you can find which information. Uh, after downloading, you get a, a 7-zip file uh, uh, mentioning uh, which is the minimum version you need to install and uh, the uh, actual version of the of the starter kit which is 2.1 which is uh, uh, around uh, mid of uh, March 2019. So you probably also get a newer version um, but uh, uh, it's uh, the, from the process there, there is no different. Inside the FBM starter kit you find two batch files 
and some information, some readme information, which uh, give you the explanation on how to uh, how to start and where to find which as well, or, uh, where to find which information as well. So if you if you double click on the prismatic, uh, um, and then you uh, will jump into NX on a prismatic environment, then you find all of your 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 uh, teach operation and your test uh, parts as well, and for sure the the demo environment. If you go uh, down to the um, to the uh, uh, the directory, you can ignore the directory. Only hold some configuration information, which is not needed to change. On um, inside the documentation, you find some uh, Excel files with some rules, and you find your example parts as you have seen before. Uh, the example parts give you some HTML information on how to do the demo. That is the demo you have seen a, a minute ago. Uh, you also find the Appendix and inside the appendix, you find detailed uh, information on how to teach operation uh, uh, sets, how to map features. Uh, there is an overview on operation set teaching you can you can take, and uh, you also find a way of how to start a machine knowledge editor in the feature based uh, in the FBM starter kit environment. As mentioned, please refer to the README information and uh, to see how to install it and uh, how to install it and how to, to start it after you unzip it. With this, I want to thank you. Um, have fun with the FBM Starter Kit and um, have a good time with it. Bye.